You are now a household name across this country, title or not. Heading into that fight with Caballero, how much pressure did you feel, Steve? Um, there was a lot of pressure, you know what I mean? Um, and I think that's what cost me the fight. Not that physically I wasn't ready. You know, we had a great training camp. But I think mentally I let the, the big event get to me and, you know, I, I didn't perform. You know, it happens to the, to the best of all athletes. And, you know, it's something that you gotta, you got to learn from. How do you describe that feeling? Because you said you mentally froze. What did you mean by that? I mean, I just, I just wasn't myself. You know, I was just so, you know, I was focused on littler things than, than the things that I'm normally focused on that I should be focused on. You know, I was... You know, show, show, Showtime was there, and, you know, there's a different ring announcer, and just a whole di different atmosphere. Everything was a, was a lot different. I just had my mind set on things that I shouldn't have. And he was a tough fighter. Like, yeah, really, you know, give, and, give the guy credit. Yeah, no, I do give the guy credit. You know, he was, a, he was a tough fighter, but you know what? I really, and personally, I don't think he's better than me. You know what I mean? Like, the real Steve Mauder could beat that guy, and I don't care what, what anyone says or thinks. That every, everyone has their own opinion, but... You know, in the reality, you know, I know I'm a better fighter than that guy, but, you know, I just didn't show up that night. And, you know, that's your only loss, Steve. You're 28-1. and one. I mean, you're right. Everyone does lose, yet when you do lose, the critics come out at you. How do you respond to that? Um, you know what I mean? Like I was saying to you earlier, you know, like, you know, the media is the media, and, you know, they, you know, they're bandwagon jumpers, but in reality, the media, like, guys like you, people need me. Like, you guys, you know, like, what? in reality, I'm the one in there fighting. I'm the one risking my life. You know, I don't really care what people what people think, you know, I, I like when the media's on my side and it's good to me, but, you know, like, I remember your guys' last show with you and Spider on there saying, oh, I haven't fought anybody, I haven't done this and I haven't done that, well, that's fine. And that but, struck a nerve but, with but, you, but, but, in, but in reality, in reality, what have you done? Sure, yeah, I mean, I'm who a who television are, host. Who, who's, your, who's your opinion? You know, what have you, have you gotten the ring and rest of your life? Not a chance. Absolutely not, and you that's I mean? not my mantra, and so, I would, you know, and I... And so that's why, I like, when people have their opinions about me and, and what I've done, you know, it goes in this year and out the other. But there's one thing when you're a part of the media. There's one thing, and the Canadian media has your back, Steve, like yeah, through and through. 100%. We on the show have your back. You're great for Canadian boxing. You're great for Canadian sport. Why wouldn't we be on your side? But when people raise legitimate questions, you know, whether you believe that they're legitimate or not, I mean, it, can you see how the media relationship works? Yeah, you know, I, I know it works. I know it's part of the game, but you know what I mean? Like, people got to remember this isn't tennis or golf. This is fighting, so you know what I mean? Like... You got to, you know, I think the media should be a little more uh, careful, you know, the way that they, um, they view their opinions when it comes, it comes to fighters, you know, because it's a life or death sport and, you know, fighters have a different mentality than, say, a soccer player or mm -hmm. a baseball player or something like that. Yeah, and unless you have been in the ring and been yeah. there and taken a punch, then, you exactly. know what, I trust what you guys say a whole lot more than someone like me, someone, quite frankly. Yeah, or, you know, a spider or you, you know, it's sitting there saying, oh, he hasn't done this, he hasn't done that, well, pfft. Well, no. and, and, and Spider, you know, I'm not going to stand up for what Spider said, but I came out and said, you know what, I want to see you against Caballero because, and I did yeah. question a couple of the fighters that you fought previously, and that's no disrespect to you, Steve. Well, you know, I got to take it as disrespect because in reality, how are you going to say question some of the fighters when I fought when they're rated top 15 in the world when they've been in there with the best fighters in the world? Could you last as long as I did? Sure, not no, absolutely not, but I you guess I that's mean? part of the fight game, and a lot of people don't yeah. understand that you have to, you know fight guys in order to get to where you want to be and that's exactly. part of the process it's been suggested that this is a career defining fight for you would you agree with that assessment 100 percent. you know i mean after my last performance you know everyone's looking to see what happens now with steve motor and you know and that's part of the game you know i mean after coming off a loss like that everyone's going to see you know what's the kid going to do now so you know i know the pressure's on and i'm looking to perform friday night you've had a sudden since we talked about that a little bit earlier on has that changed your approach at all to when you're looking going into a fight without a doubt it's made me a lot more fierce you know even today at the stare down you know I'm looking this man in the eyes, and, you know, it's not just me versus him now. You know, this guy's taking food out of my son's mouth, and that's, you know, that's not a good thing for anybody. That's the ultimate motivator, and there is some genuine tension there, Steve. And, yeah. you know what, I've seen you in tents before other fights. I've been up to ramming each and every one of your fights. But, I mean, there's, some, there's something going on right now with you, man, and that's dangerous. You know, just, just the thought of, you know, like I said earlier, you know, I've always been hyped to, to be the best and be a winner, but now it's, it's a lot more personal. When you have, uh, you know, a little baby boy who's looking at you and, you know, daddy's got to bring home food, you know, it's life or death.